everybody. <clears throat> I was out a little late last night, so <laughs> this is the voice that you received today. Um, I'm so excited to talk to you guys today. My topic is off the screen, but it is keys to building a successful business. And I left my keys on my table. I need the keys. <laughs> keys to building a successful business, and I too have no slides, and I have notes on my phone. You are welcome. Okay, so the most important thing I want you guys to know, and this might sound a little cheesy, but you already have the key inside of you, right? We all hold the key inside of ourselves to build a successful business. We all build our businesses very differently. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple of suggestions to build your repertoire of keys, and we're gonna spell out keys. And I got that idea from Shanae, so thanks for that. <laughs> I was like, what do I talk about? Okay, so. This business is simple, but it's not easy, right? And so I want you to think about actually having a physical key like I have here in my hand, and I'll use those later. If you had a business, whether you owned an ice cream shop or a pizza shop or a TJ Maxx, because that would be my personal dream, you have to take your key every single day and open your business, right? Or you're going to have no business at all. It's the same thing in our businesses. You have to use your key to open your business every single day. You might actually only open your business for five minutes on one day. You might open it for five hours on another day. But the more frequently and the more consistently that you open your business, the more it's going to grow. So number, or number one, letter K. Keep doing what you're good at. So that's my first tip, keep doing what you're good at. We all excel in different ways. We all bu build our businesses different ways. So personally, I'm pretty good at videos. And so that's what I need to keep doing. I need to keep making those videos because that's what works for me and my business. I'm able to get um, training across or I'm getting to share product information. I love to make videos, that's what works for me. Now, full disclosure, I haven't been making a lot of videos, and so do as I say, not as I do, right? Keep doing what you're good at. I need to get back to making more videos. That's what I'm good at, and that's what's great for me and my business. You might be really good at home parties. You might be really good at one-on-ones. You might be really good at different things. Keep doing what you're good at and never stop. Angie touched on that earlier. It's hard to do something consistently, right? It starts to get a little old or stale. Keep refreshing it. Keep doing what you're good at. In addition to that, E, expand your comfort zone. You will not find wild success in this business unless you are prepared to jump outside of your comfort zone and get uncomfortable. And I challenge you to start doing that today. Find somebody you don't know here sometime throughout the course of the day and introduce yourself. It's scary to step outside of your comfort zone, but the more frequently and the sooner you start practicing that, the better off you'll be. Jump outside of that comfort zone. So E is expand your comfort zone, but also expect to succeed. If you are not, this is going off Christy, if you are not expecting to succeed, you're probably not going to. Expect to succeed, take a chance on yourself, and feel the feelings as though you've already accomplished what you want to accomplish because that's what's going to get you there. You have the key inside of you to do this. I can give you a whole bag of different ideas or keys, but you have it inside of yourself. So expand your comfort zone and expect to succeed. Why? Yearn to learn. You need to continue your education in that you need to listen to podcasts, you need to watch videos, whatever speaks to you. So I have a long drive, I moved into the middle of nowhere, and I have no cell phone service, and so anytime I need to go get a gallon of milk, I have 45 minutes in my car. And so I have podcasts downloaded for that particular time because I'm focused and I can receive that information. And it's really amazing what motivates you, right? You're listening to a podcast or you're watching a video, you feel spurred into action. You want to immediately go work your business or try something new because it, it inspires you, right? I always say you can't motivate somebody, you can only inspire them. And it's true, when you're talking with your team, you can't motivate them, but you can inspire them through your own action. So when you are yearning to learn and you're listening to those things that are motivating you to work your business, that's going to be a key to success. Say yes to collaborating with others. You can learn from every single one of the poshers in this room. We all work our businesses differently. We all approach it differently. And you can take a tip from somebody and expand your possibilities. Yearn to learn. 
S is share posh, right? This is a simple one. In order to be successful in your business, you've got to share posh. And by golly, if you wanna sell it, that's okay too, right? Selling is not a bad word. We use sharing because you know that does feel less polarizing, but it's okay to sell products. People want to buy our products, it's okay to sell them. So share posh and maybe even sell it. Now, I am really not going to take you guys all the way until noon, sorry, I'm gonna go a little short. It's fine, everything's fine, okay. <laughs> everything's fine. Um, I wanted to leave you guys with a little story. So I actually attended my very first day away almost six years ago, which it doesn't seem like it's been that long, but I remember it like yesterday. I was sitting in the audience and I was watching the leader presentations up on stage and I was thinking, I wanna do that. And I felt it deep in my soul, like it was like a calling. I want to do that, I want to be on stage and I want to train and I want to do these things and I want to build a big business. And immediately the doubts started creeping in, like oh, they've got years on you, there's no way you could do this, blah, blah, blah. But I dismissed those. I squashed those feelings and I started to believe. And I believed so strongly. I felt those feelings as though it had already happened. You guys are sitting in that audience right now. I want you to feel those feelings. Do you wanna be up on stage training someday? Do you want to have that financial freedom because you've reached Platinum Premier? What do you want from this business? Feel it inside of you and let it burn. I remember seeing a girl across the room at that day away. It was like a pinup theme situation for the catalog and she had her hair all done to the nines and she looked so cool and I was just like, hmm, I wonder who that girl is. Just, you know, just, in my head. That was Katrina Rimmel. She went on to be one of my best friends in Posh. I never even met her at that event, but I remember her like yesterday. Look around the room, you guys. Your future Posh best friend is probably maybe in this room. You just never know. It's crazy, the connections that we have. Okay, so. It was at that event that I decided I wanted to build my business. It was at that event I decided to take my key and open my business every single day. Now, here's where my keys come in. I could give you guys this entire bag of keys, but you already have a key within your reach. We all hold the key to be successful inside of us. We just have to show up and we have to believe. And I know that there's some of you out there that might struggle with that. You might not actually believe in yourself and you're like, okay, nice speech, I, it's fine, it works for you and it doesn't work for me. But if you do not believe in yourself, I want you to know that I believe in you. You guys, when I joined Posh, my resume, if you will, wouldn't have lended itself to being successful in social media or in direct sales. I wouldn't have said I was cut out for this business, but I believed. And so if you won't believe in yourself, I want you to know that I believe in you. And if you forget that, I want you to reach under your seat right now. And I want you to feel around right in the front. It's taped right there. And I want you to hold the key that you are unveiling from under your seat. And I want you to know that I believe in you. And I wanna give a big shout out to Becca that gave me this Oprah idea last night because I was like, that's so perfect. And so we busted in here at 12.30 a.m. and we didn't bust, we asked for permission, security let us in, it's fine. Security did let us in, for real, it really did. Anyway, I've got keys under your seat. You guys seriously take that as a token from this event Hold it and really put some thought into what you want from your business. Put some thought into the fact that you can do this. You can be up on this stage. I never in one million years thought it was actually going to happen, but I then dared to believe that I could. You got this. And if you don't believe in yourself, I believe in you and you can call me anytime. Thank you very much.